There are a lot of different scenarios um, that we're considering for Omicron, and of course, it's still very early days. We don't have all the information yet on transmission uh, in terms of if there is a fitness advantage, if it's more transmissible. Um, there is some suggestion of that, but again, it's early days. We expect to have more information on transmission um, within days, not necessarily weeks, but in days. In terms of the severity profile, uh, we have seen uh, reports of cases of, with Omicron that go from mild disease all the way to severe disease. Um, there is some uh, indication that uh, some of the patients are presenting with mild disease, but again, it's early days, and we do have a surveillance bias right now in terms of the cases that are being detected. Um, there is also a suggestion of increased hospitalizations across South Africa, but that could be a factor of the, of the sheer fact that we have more cases. And if you have more cases, you will have more hospitalizations. It is certainly possible that one of the scenarios is that the virus, as it continues to evolve, may still have a fitness advantage, meaning that it could become more transmissible, um, more transmissible than Delta, we'll have to see. Um, but we don't know quite yet about the severity. The more this virus circulates, the more infections there will be. The more infections there will be, the more people will die. And this is something that can be prevented. So everything that we can do for Delta, which is dominant worldwide, needs to be applied and strengthened for Omicron.